Okay, this is page 40, number 37. You're given that a sub 4 is negative 18, a sub 7 is 2 thirds, and you are supposed to find a sub 6. So just to put it into visual context, 1, 2, 3, 4, here's a sub 4, and that's negative 18. 5, 6, 7, this is a sub 7, which is 2 thirds, and we are supposed to find this term right here, a sub 6. So first of all, we need to find r. So to do that, you got to think how many r's I'm multiplying by r, then I multiply by r again, and then I multiply by r again. So I'll, to get from the 4th to the 7th, I've got 7 minus 4, that's 3 r's. So what I have then is a sub 4 multiplied by r to the third is what would give me a to the seventh. In other words, if I start with negative 18, I've got to multiply times r to the third in order to get two thirds. That's what this means. I start with negative 18 and I multiply by r, by r, by r, and I should get two thirds. So we really just need to simplify this and solve this expression. I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1 18th. And so I end up with r cubed equals, and I can simplify, and I get negative 1 over 27. So if I take the cubed root of both sides, I'm going to get r equals negative 1 third. Okay. So now my job is to find a sub 6. Well, using the same kind of thinking that we did there, if I start with a sub 4, I'm going to multiply by r squared, and that should give me a sub 6. Because look up here again, if I start with a sub 4, multiply by r, multiply by r, I should end up at a sub 6. So when I put those numbers in, a sub 4 is negative 18, r is negative 1 third, and I'm going to square that, and I'm supposed to get a sub 6. So a sub 6 is going to be 1 ninth times negative 18, so a sub 6 would be negative 2.